Hey guys, it's Libby and in today's video I'm going to be talking about something that I learned while I was in treatment for my eating disorder. It's something that really resonated with me, it made a lot of sense to me, so I want to share it with you guys. So let's get started. The topic of today's video is using should statements with yourself. So a couple examples of should statements could be, I should exercise more, or I should eat healthier, or I should read more. So why are should statements bad? Well, when you say that you should be doing something or should have done something or whatever, whatever should you've got in your pocket, um, you're not accepting reality for what it is. You're making wishes, you're expressing all these wants, and it's okay to have wishes and wants, but when you're saying it in a way that's, I should be doing this, it's kind of followed with, but I don't, or something, or but I can't. So when you're saying, I should exercise more, there's a chance that when you say that to yourself, you're thinking, I should exercise more. Yeah, that sounds like a great healthy idea. I'm going to start tomorrow. Woohoo. All is well. But there's a bigger chance that what you're going to say to yourself is, I should exercise more, dot, 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 but I don't. Or dot, 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 but I can't. But I don't have time to. But I don't want to. You know, so you're, you're saying, I should exercise more, but I don't. And so you're not accepting the reality of not exercising, but you're also not setting yourself up in a good way to make that change if that's what you truly want. So that sort of leads me into the next reason why this is bad, is that when you're saying, I should do something, dot, 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 but I don't, whether you say, but I don't, whether you think, but I don't, whether someone else says, but you don't, whatever it may be, um, you're reinforcing that you're not doing it. So by saying, I should exercise more, but I don't, you're left with, but I don't, but I can't, you know, like you're, you're reinforcing that this thing you want, you're not doing. You're kind of tearing yourself down saying, I want this, I want this, but I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? So you're, 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 you're reinforcing the fact that you're not doing it and that isn't productive very few people are gonna like hear I should be exercising more but I don't okay I'm gonna accept that challenge let's go you know like very few people are gonna take that negative criticism type statement and turn it into something positive it's more likely going to be something that drags you down so how can you tackle this topic in a more positive way the first thing you can try is focusing on the benefits. So say your I should is I should read more. Instead of following that with but I don't, you can follow that with I should read more. You know, it brings me into a whole other world. It relaxes me. It's so fun. It's so interesting. I learn things. You know, reading is just a really positive thing in my life. I should do it more. You know, you're 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 kind of setting yourself up for I should do this and why I should do this it's a good thing and you know with those good reasons in your head you're more likely to go ahead and do it than if you say I should do something but I don't if it's I should do something and here's all the wonderful reasons I should do it you're much more likely to do it another way you can tackle this is by finding how that should activity or whatever it is fits with your values. So say you're sticking with the I should be reading. It's I should be reading because it fits with my value of learning. I am going to be a lifelong learner and reading is one way that I can keep learning forever. So I should do more reading because it fits with my values. The last thing you can do when you've got a should statement that pops up in your head is focus on the reality. So if your statement again is I should read, you then expand on that and say, I don't read as much as I want to. Why is that? Why don't I read as much as I want to? Why is that disappointing to me? And then that might lead you to understanding kind of where this this feeling is coming from, this should feeling is coming from. If you understand why you wish you were doing that, that kind of goes into the last two things I mentioned of focusing on your values and of the benefits of the action. You're saying, why? don't I do this more when I wish I did? You're kind of exploring it. You're problem solving. When you just say, I should read more, but I don't, conversation ends there, you know? So you've got to put in the work to say, okay, why don't I read more? Why is it important to me? You know what I mean? Um, so that is basically in summation 
why should statements are harmful and how you can go about making them into something beneficial for you. Um, should statements are totally natural, you're gonna make them, you're gonna fight them now because you know they're bad, but you're gonna still say them sometimes and that's okay. It's a work in progress, you know, but I know you guys can do it and I know that with these tips, with these new perspectives on what a should statement is to you, I know that you can make this a better part of your life. So yeah, I'm, I hope that this video is informative for you and interesting and um, have a good day, I guess, you know? Yeah, that's all I got for you. Bye.